David Carr, we have a, um, a special uh, a question coming up next. I think this will be a, uh, a cherry on this, uh, this this Sunday. This has been a fantastic conversation, but I'm going to bring Nice and Olivia uh, from Chicago into the room. Oh, wow. These some Chicago ones right here. What's up, y'all? What y'all doing? Hey. You, got, you guys are muted. What's up? Sorry about that. Can you hey, hear us? Hey. Yes, hey. How what's are going you? on? <laughs> I love We're it. I love it. it. Oh, Olivia, you rocking the boat. Look, you done, you done <laughs> had my whole life tonight. I've been on this dog scene all day. I'm looking at you smiling. I'm like, you know what? Eddie Kane said, I feel like going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's going on? And uh, you remember about two weeks ago? I hope so. Yes. Well, let, that, me see. let me see. That remember when um you heard about the uh there's an eight year old little girl was asking a question. Yeah, yeah. that's you. Yeah, <laughs> we finally made it back. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? Good. We're good. We're good. So she has a question. And uh, I'm, I'm going to let her take her question away and I'll, I'll fill in as she needs it. But she says she wants to ask it. And so the floor is hers. I am all so, so I've been wondering, like, why has Africa been looking poor? So she's been she's been really, really interested and fascinated with Africa. Like, that's all I hear. She wants to learn the hieroglyphs, like yes! all of that. Right, like she said that you know Africa is cool. You know what did, what did you say about the ancestors? Uh, that our our ancestor comes from Africa. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. she she's been looking it up. You know, on trying to you know find information about Africa on her own, and she noticed that a lot of the images. She said a lot of the people are like it looks like people are are poor, and she's trying to figure out. You know, I've told her. Her dad told her, her brothers told her, yeah. like, you know, Africa is rich in resources and a lot of folks come to Africa to, you know, get out the things that they want. Um, and so she wanted to know why is there that, why is it that the images look that way as if people are poor? And in particular, uh, like those sponsorship videos and whatnot. And there was even a book that we ended up finding tonight while we were talking about it that my son had when he was younger. And it's I a world, yeah. And, and she wanted to know, and like the images in the book, there's a like a, a dichotomy between like people having and people not having. Like she, this image, oh, I hope you can see it. I can, absolutely, absolutely. Right, so the image of the kids with the, oh. you know, the tattered t-shirt and whatnot. And she's like, she sees this a lot in the videos that she, you know, pulls up and she's trying to figure like what's going on with that. Well, I think Olivia, there's a real simple answer to that because there are people in the world who don't understand who we are or, well, there are two types. They don't understand who we are. And then there are people who do understand who we are. If they don't understand who they are, who we are, they show images based on what they were taught. And when I was your age, I don't know. Uh, these when you when, when we were eight years old, what they teach you about Africa? So I had teach. So my mom taught me a lot, and my grandma taught me a lot. And it, <laughs> yeah. And so we had like my mom. She was on it. She was like, "I'm not trusting. I'm making sure you know everything that I know." In the school that I went to, I went to a Catholic school, um, and in eight, when I was eight, it was whatever was in those textbooks. Like I don't remember anything necessarily overly like positive. There were teachers. Um, I remember there was a my our fourth grade teacher and our seventh grade teacher. They were African American women. Yeah. They made sure that no matter what grade level we were in, yes. that we knew. So they will literally. I, I remember getting pulled out of class to go to like the middle school classroom to sit and to learn. Yeah, um, Boy, I'm listening. Fourth, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see yeah, our fourth grade teacher. 
I remember she, I want to say she might have had him come in, but the, I don't want to butcher his name, but the guy that runs Third World Press. Oh, Haki, um, my booty. Yeah. 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 Yes. He had, um, he, that was when the, uh, I think that was the first, I don't know, but it was a copy of Gwendolyn Brooks's Blacks. Like yeah. she made sure we had that, they had the speakers come in, but the images that we saw, it was the little, you know, especially around this time of year to collect the money for the kids in Africa sort of thing. Like it was yeah. never anything Yes, that was overly in depth or you, you, you had home though. I mean, Olivia, you lucky because see, you have somebody that can pass it on to you as it was passed on to her. And so th there are people who don't know, but then there are other people who know. For example, right now in Africa, the whole continent, there are well over a billion people. So what you see on TV, if you see three, four people here or 10, 15 people here or 200 people here, that's nothing. They're like a billion people. And watch this. The majority of those people are younger than 18 years old. I dare say there are more eight-year-old black girls in Africa than there are white girls in the world. <laughs> you understand? So when you start, in other words, now here's the trick. Now I see you sitting there thinking, I got to get to Africa. And that's the key. <laughs> see, the key is this. You can't learn about Africa watching what people think about Africa on TV. Now you got the internet. You can get some, you can get some, you can get some friends here in Nubia. There are people right here in this chat right now who are from all over the world and they listening to you. I'm looking at this chat. They talking to you. Do you understand? So now you ain't here and they like, Olivia, hold on. Let me say, look, we, I need to share some pictures. I need to show you where I'm from. And I look at y'all smiling. I look at your smiling face. And this is a book that I'm using with my students. Uh, I'm teaching a class that where we do a lot of artwork, right? And it, and <gasps> I love like art. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. The, the beautiful thing about Africa, and see, you're in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So there is so much African art. The Field Museum is so MC. Yeah. It's so much African art right there. And the beautiful thing about Chicago is you pass African art every day. Black people done painted on walls. They done built whole buildings. They got, and they they made a point in Chicago of saying, you know, if, have you been to the DuSabo Museum? If you go to the DuSabo, <laughs> my very, 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 very good friend, she taught at Chicago State for many years. Her name is Kim Delaney. I'm going to make sure you have her contact information. She's the director okay. of education programs at the DuSabo. One day, you masked up and get out. I want y'all go to DuSabo. Tell Dr. Delaney that a car sent you over there and she turned you loose in them archives and you're going to see what Africa is because the sister who started to do Sable, Margaret Burroughs, was mm -hmm. very serious about this. In fact, um, was it Margaret Burroughs? I'm trying to think, Denise. Was it Margaret Burroughs or was it Mari Evans who wrote the poem? It was Margaret, Margaret Burroughs who started to do Sable in your hometown in Chicago. Yeah. She yeah. wrote a poem said, What shall I tell my children who are yeah, black? yeah, because <laughs> they out here telling these black people lies about look. This is a picture of an old this is from the Yoruba people. Now, this was built, this was made out of copper, and it goes back to prop before there was a George Washington. This old now look at these here, these are made. Same thing. These are like black people you see in the streets of Chicago. Mm -hmm. But they did this before there was a Thomas Jefferson. It wasn't no America. It wasn't no Christopher Columbus. These are our mm -hmm. people right here. The reason they show you those images because they want you to stay away from Africa. And the reason they want you to stay away from Africa is because it's the most powerful place in the world. Mm -hmm. We are Africans. If we could have been killed, we'd be dead. Where y'all from? Y'all from Chicago, but where are your people from? Where did they come from? Uh so my my on uh my side my grandmother is from mississippi from around the greenwood mississippi area my grandfather is from alabama and uh around around the where where is he oh jesus uh Mo, oh lord montgomery. moses alabama oh, moses. no near oh, montgomery moses alabama i believe i believe oh. yeah Have been and down so there? We went down there 
maybe a couple of years ago it was for a funeral so we haven't been there's still a, a little bit of family that's down there we haven't been to the family like land but we went down there uh for a funeral so like the kids got to i have an older son too they got to see the cotton fields uh so we we talked about that um but yeah that's where my people are from and then on her dad's side they they're from louisiana from the yeah. like the louisiana area yeah do, do you yeah. know what's so funny i mean and i say this to, to both y'all but olivia when i was a little boy i'm from tennessee and my mother's from alabama um <laughs> in rural alabama right out near near tuskegee not too far from tuskegee russell county and when i was a little boy we would go down there and see our cousins and they be out there and we were out there helping our grandparents and uh, and then just meeting black people when you want to go to africa the first place you go is in the black community here mm -hmm. and then go back and find your family go south go sit on the porch go watch somebody braid some hair go eat some of them roasted peanuts go sit there and just start letting and then when you go to africa this is what you're gonna find out they do the same thing in Africa. You're like, oh, wow, this is like my family. This is what we do. And so when you do that and when you turn on TV and you see people, oh, Africa is poor, they say the same thing about black people in Chicago. They mm -hmm. say the same thing about. So in other words, if somebody said to you, you know, Olivia, she's from Chicago. That's where all those poor black people are. And they don't mean, see, see that look on your face. You'd be like, wait a minute. You don't know that about me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They say the same thing because it's not Africa, it's not Chicago, it's black. That people people can't deal with black, so they call us poor. They say we don't have anything. They say we're gonna kill each other all the time. They say, well, I didn't make a gun. Who made the gun? Yo, you made mm -hmm. the gun. Oh, so it, so I'm saying I'd say that now. You want to study Egyptian hieroglyphs? You want to study? You know how to write your name? Okay, y'all take a screenshot. That's your name. That's one way to write your name in Egyptian hieroglyphs. Oh, wow. So you would say here, this would be, and Dr. Beatty, he's coming to Nubia. So he's going to show you how to do this. Okay. You, he'll, he'll teach you how to do this for yourself because he might correct me. This is the, the quail chick. There is no ah sound. So the closest you get is like, woo. So this would be, woo. This is like a, a lion, a small like representation of a lion. That would be the close you get to L or L. The, the flowered reed is like, eh. So it will be, eh. And then you see the quail chicken again. So you say, Woo, but it would also be like uh woo, like a V, woo. And then you have an E here. So two of these together is E. One of them is is E. Two is E. So, and the last is a, a Egyptian vulture. That's ah. So we were sounded out here with these little symbols. Woo yeah. And so we say, Olivia. That's your name right there. Wow. Now, when you go to Egypt, look, she writing it. That's what we do. We have to mm -hmm. <laughs> you write it down. So, because the Egyptians, this writing is older than the alphabet. It's older. Yes. So when yeah. they start talking about people are, oh, Africans, we gave the world writing. Mm -hmm. And we gave the world math. Oh, I wish yeah. I could show you. There is, mm, 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 I don't have any of my stuff here. My Egyptian stuff is, oh, I'd have to go find the symbol in ancient Egypt for the creator of mathematics is a black woman. Her name is Sachet. She was the creator of math. There were no mathematicians in Europe. There ain't no mathematicians anywhere else. The Africans created math and they, and they symbolized it with a black woman. She was also an astronomer and an architect and an artist and a librarian. All that in one woman. She wore a leopard skin dress. So next time you see somebody with a leopard dress on, you tell her, oh, you must know something about that leopard skin. What do you know about that? So anyway, we we, we, we got to we gotta talk. I'm going to put my email in the chat. Okay. What I'm going to do is, we gonna, I'm going to send you some stuff. Okay. That's awesome. Because I, 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 one of the reasons why I signed up for narrative and why we, you know, I, ha I have my son, he's sitting here with me too. Uh -huh. I homeschool the kids. Oh, really? And so this okay. is a part of them. This is what part of what we do now with the homeschool. And they sit, we listen, we listen to office hours. And if they have any questions from anything that we've done, yeah. And yeah, and <laughs> that that when you say something about math, I actually like math. You do. Yes. You know what? You are 
a daughter of Sachet. Mm -hmm. Sachet is the lady. You are you are a daughter. You are one of her daughters. That's what I'm talking about. She's not here right now, so that means you got to do the stand in. You the one, mm -hmm. and you know, math mm -hmm. and art is right next to each other. So yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, you're to tell you that. Oh, oh no, <laughs> see, you gotta stop playing. Okay, so you know, you know, we planning on going to Egypt one day soon. When this, when we yeah, get past yeah. all this stuff, one day we gonna have to go. You just put that yeah. in your calendar, all right? We ain't listening to no more crazy stuff about <laughs> what that stuff on app. Nah, nah, they ain't they ain't telling you the truth. We going. We going yeah. Go. Oh. It's just yeah. sister Denise, real quick yeah. while, while we have you, and not to put you on the spot, but since mm -hmm. you're using Nubia narrative in, in that way, if there's anything that you think that we should have or something that you think would add to you know what you're trying to do, let us know. Now, please because this okay. is this is where we're trying to go. We just getting okay. started. We just getting started. Yeah. Hey, what you say? What you say, Olivia? What? Hold on. One second. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, you made oh. it. Wait, that's a yeah. She's getting her Halloween crafts on. <laughs> oh, it's time for Halloween. Oh, I gotta make a note of that. You guys, I think we had to talk about Halloween on Saturday. I said I was gonna dress up in a Halloween costume. I had to go get a suit. <laughs> no, I went on it so long. This is my Halloween costume, a shirt and a tie. Right. <laughs> and I even... what, what you gonna What you gonna make? What you gonna make a costume? Yeah, I already made one for mom what? and dad and my brother. You know what? Yep. I am <laughs> going to make sure on Saturday, and I'm writing it down right now because of this conversation. We're gonna talk about. Halloween and All Saints Day because mm. it's about ancestors. Yeah. It's really about ancestors. And so we're going to talk about that because we know how to treat our ancestors. We Africans. Africans respect our ancestors. Sometimes other people are scared of them. So when they come, they look like skeletons and ghosts. And like, well, what's wrong? That's your, that's your <laughs> grandfather. Why are you scared? Oh, y'all don't respect y'all. We're going we gonna to flip Halloween. Come on, Olivia. This gonna, I'm putting this on you. So when I do it, I'm going to say, Olivia, the one made me talk about this <laughs> on Monday night. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. I love it. We oh, appreciate you, you guys. We appreciate you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Hey, email me. Thank you, Olivia, for real. Y'all got my email. Because Miss Kim over there at DeSabo, she going to be waiting for y'all. Okay. <laughs> I'll email you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Bye-bye.